Toussaint Louverture International Airport French, Aéroport International Toussaint Louverture IATA, PAP, ICAO, MTPP is an international airport in Tabar, a commune of Port-au-Prince in Haiti. The airport is currently the busiest in Haiti and is an operating hub for Salsa de Haiti, Tortugue Air, Sunrise Airways, and Haiti Aviation. History 1940s, a military and civil airfield, Bowen Field the smaller military airport in Chancerelles, not the international airport was established near Bay de Port-au-Prince providing passenger air service by Compagnie Haitienne de Transports Aériens. 1950s and 1960s, it served as an airbase for the U.S. military in Haiti. 1965, developed with grant money from the United States government and mostly money collected from the people of Haiti taxes, lottery, and else. The current airport opened as François Duvalier International Airport, named after then Haitian President François Papa Doc Duvalier. 1986, Duvalier's son and successor Jean-Claude Duvalier resigned. The airport was renamed Port-au-Prince International Airport, 2003, President Jean Bertrand Aristide renamed the airport again as Toussaint Louverture International Airport, in honor of Toussaint Louverture, the Haitian revolutionary leader. The 12th of January 2010, it was badly damaged by the 2010 Haiti earthquake. See damage to infrastructure in the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Hashtag Toussaint Louverture International Airport. The 25th of November 2012, President Michel Joseph Martelly opened the newly repaired arrival terminal. Facilities The main building of the airport works as the International Terminal. It is a two-story concrete and glass structure. Lounges and a few retail stores are on the second floor of the main building. Check-in counters, gates and immigration facilities are on the lower floor. The Guy Mallory Terminal named after former Haitian Justice Minister Guy Mallory is used for domestic flights. There are further buildings used for general aviation and cargo flights. The airport has three jet bridges, but most passengers walk onto aircraft from mobile stairs. The ramp area can handle 12 planes. The airport is to be redesigned completely by the year 2015. The remaking of the airport is to add 14 gates to the terminal and also will make the main passenger terminal bigger. As of June 15, 2016, a taxiway is under construction to increase traffic capacity, as taxiing aircraft currently must use the active runway to taxi to their takeoff position. Work is being performed by China National Automation Control System Corporation which has multiple large construction contracts with the Haitian government. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Access The airport can be accessed by car with parking space next to the terminal building or by National Bus Route One. Accidents and incidents The 3rd of March 1980, a Learjet MB operating on a corporate charter flight on behalf of Merchant Bank crashed in the hills on arrival at airport. One passenger and two crew members died. 12 July 1980, a Douglas C-47 crashed on approach, killing all three people on board. The aircraft was being used illegally to transport marijuana. 7 December 1995, an Air St. Martin Beechcraft 1900D aircraft FOHRK hit a mountain at an altitude of 5,030 feet 1,533 meters, 30 kilometers 19 miles away from airport. Two crew members and 18 passengers which were illegal immigrants to Guadeloupe were killed. 12 February 1996, a Haiti Express Gaff Nomad aircraft N224E crashed shortly after taking off. 
Two crew members and eight passengers died. 31 August 2007, a Carabinter Cessna Grand Caravan HH car crashed shortly after takeoff 5 km 3 miles away from the airport. There were no fatal injuries. 11 September 2007, only 11 days after the previous accident, another plane crash of a Carabinter Cessna Grand Caravan HH -ca occurred near the airport, this time upon landing 10 km 6 miles short of the runway. 12 January 2010, the 2010 Haiti earthquake damaged its control tower, and relief work afterwards caused a huge increase in flights. 26 May 2013, a Brazilian Air Force KC 137 transport aircraft veered off the runway after an engine fire during takeoff, crashing into the grass next to the runway. The plane was carrying 121 Brazilian soldiers deployed to the UN Stabilization Force in Haiti but no injuries were reported. Small aircraft were allowed to resume flying on Monday, but large aircraft that could not pass the KC-137 mostly to, from the USA, were suspended for days. See also Jacmel Airport, another airport used for 2010 earthquake relief flights in Haiti Operation Unified Response, U.S. military relief effort for the January 2010 earthquake in Haiti List of airports in Haiti List of the busiest airports in the Caribbean